What's going on guys? Welcome back to the farm. I'm about to show you something really, really gross, but it's a great way to feed your chickens. Thanks for joining us again today, guys. We are gonna talk a little bit more. I recently just did a video on how we're producing pasture-raised eggs for absolutely zero cost. So today we're gonna go a little further and we're gonna show you another method um, to feeding chickens. This is a little gross, so if you're squeamish, you might not wanna watch this one. Check out our last video, I'll put a link above on how we're producing eggs for zero cost. So I did actually mention this in a video before. It was a, a farm walk that we were doing a couple weeks ago. And I understand not everybody here is watching every single video I'm putting out. So figured it'd be a good idea to break this down into its own video. Again, fair warning, I'm stalling a little bit to give you time if you decide, hey, I don't wanna see this. But what you're about to see behind me is what we're calling our maggot bucket ram head hybrid I'm not sure, I don't have a name for this, but it is essentially a rotting ram's head. So what exactly is this? Why are we doing it? There is a reason, we're not just crazy people. We put our ram's head on this post um, once we butchered him, we're trying to utilize every bit of the animal we, we possibly can. And Bucky here, our ram, um, if you're not familiar with Bucky, you know, go back to some of our previous videos, you can check him out, but it was time for him to go. So we butchered him, and being that he had such a cool uh, skull and cool horns here, you know, I didn't want the skull to just go to waste. I didn't want to just chuck it in the woods and, and let it decompose. So I figure, you know, let's actually get some benefits out of this and see if we can also get, you know, a mount out of the, out of the deal as well. So we put it on a post here and really the goal behind this um, was to create a, an almost like a maggot bucket um, reaction. So if you're not familiar with a maggot bucket um, as, a, as a source of feed for your chickens, take a bucket, just suspend it somehow, whether it's a rope or a limb or a post, however you wanna do it. It's, it's a very simple process. There's thousands of ways you can set it up. Take a bucket, have it hanging, cut some holes in it, and then throw the most disgusting piece of meat, the rotting meat, spoiled meat, whatever it is, you're gonna get maggots. No matter what, you're always gonna find flies are gonna come in. Once you start getting those maggots, they're gonna start falling out of the bucket. When they fall to the ground here, well, what happens? In our case, we put it right next to the chicken coop. So the chickens come out, they will destroy whatever's on the ground. High protein source of food. It's free, like I mentioned in our last video, another way to get free food. There's all sorts of ways to do this, guys, and this is just another method you can use. So this is, um, I don't even know, a couple, two months, two months old at this point. You know, when we butchered Bucky, our ram here, um, it was still pretty cool. So we didn't get a whole lot of action on this right away. But now that the temperatures are warming up, um, we're definitely getting a lot more activity. I'm always seeing um, the chickens in this area. Sun's not hitting it right now, um, but give it, call it an hour, and we're gonna have the sun baking down on this. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't smell the best where I'm standing right next to it. Um, but you can see, we are getting quite a bit of breakdown already on this um, head. Obviously, again, guys, it's a little nasty. You know, you got the tongue rotting there. You got the skull, and you can see, I don't even wanna touch this, but a lot of the fur is starting to peel back. You got all sorts of bugs on here. Under here on the jawline, you can see it's kind of rotting through to the bone um, into the inner jaw. So eventually, and I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna let it here until it's done. Eventually we're gonna get, you know, hopefully at least a, a relatively clean head. If I have to go back and clean it off a little bit, that's fine. I know a lot of people will use like uh, pressure washers and then you can go ahead and you can like bleach this or do whatever you want. Again, I just thought it'd be cool to kind of keep the skull. He was our first ram on the farm. Um, our first really prominent um, animal, I guess you would say. Um, being that he had those horns, it was pretty cool. And he, he had a definitely a, a unique appearance for us. So again, guys, just another way you can be creative for feeding your animals, utilizing all your resources on your farm. 
I understand, you know, if you're in a neighborhood and you have, you know, call it three, four, five chickens, um, you're not going to want to put a skull on a post. Um, your neighbors are probably going to make a couple phone calls, but where we're at, and I will say this, it's strategically behind our chicken coop. Our house is back there. Can't see it from the house. I don't want the kids seeing this. The road's over there. Can't see it from the road. Don't want people driving by seeing this. So instead I'll just post it on YouTube and let you know the whole universe see it. But I figure you guys, um, if you're tuning into this, you actually have an understanding and, and kind of get why we would go ahead and, and do something this crazy. So again, this is just another example how you can be as creative as, as you want out here, drive your cost down to almost nothing and produce high quality food. If you're interested in more of this, check out our most recent video. Um, we talked about how we're producing pasture raised eggs for absolutely zero cost. Don't feed them whatsoever. Check that one out, I'll put a link above. You can also check out our chicken playlist on our channel talk about um, all sorts of things, um, raising meat chickens, butchering. I actually did a video on raising meat chickens for free on a composting system. You can check that one out. And as always, guys, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate you following along. If you like what we're doing, as always, hit that thumbs up button. Please consider subscribing. Drop us questions. I say subscribing. Yeah, subscribing. Please consider subscribing to our page uh, drop us questions, comments below, whatever it is. We'll be happy to get back to you. We'll be happy to give you answers, get you going on your journey. And thanks for watching, guys. It's going to be a hot one today. We're going to go out. We're going to get some weed whacking done. We're going to do some mowing and about 50 other things. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.